This rivalry, it's a little different from the rest. LSU's different. LSU's different than all of them. Florida LSU doesn't have the same history of Tennessee or Florida State or Georgia. But what it lacks in time, it sure makes up for in drama. LSU had drawn a line in the sand and was simply refusing to consider any other options presented except those consistent with the line they had drawn. There's been some heartbreakers. The penalty's going to be because one of the Florida defensive players ripped off the cleat of 87 and threw it down the field. And there's been some sweet, sweet victories. Bentley takes a stab, tosses the guys. Guys trying to lead over the top. He didn't get there. He did not get there. They got it to Bobby, and they got it to Bobby. And now it may mean just a little more with Billy Napier's ties to that state of Louisiana. But none of that matters tonight. All that matters is purple and gold versus orange and blue between the white lines with an audience of 90,000 people and the spirit of Tom Petty under the lights. It's time to break a three-year losing streak. It's time to make a statement. It's time to be Gators. As time goes deep in a crossing pattern, Marvin is tipped and caught. Throw and fire to dinner, stopped it, intercepted it by the Gators, and it's run back down the sideline by Brad Stewart. And it's caught at the 35-yard line, and a broken tackle for Tyreek Cleveland. Third and fourth effort drives inside the 